Vector autoregression, or VAR analysis, is an econometric technique used to model the dynamic relationship among multiple time series variables. For the past few decades, it has possibly been the most popular tool in macroeconomics. One of the key tools in VAR analysis is impulse response analysis, which allows researchers to examine the dynamic responses of the system to a shock in one or more variables. This technique enables us to understand how changes in one variable affect the behavior of the other variables over time. Traditional impulse response analysis has two main shortcomings. The first is that the wall decomposition may be difficult to derive or may not even exist. Secondly, the impulse response functions are only correct if the underlying VAR model coincides with the true data generating process. To overcome these shortcomings, Yorda 2005 proposed estimating impulse responses via local projections. These responses are valid no matter what the true data generating process is and can be calculated even if the world decomposition is undefined. eViews 14 supports estimation of impulse responses via local projection using both standard sequential and joint estimation. To demonstrate, we have a work file containing quarterly US macroeconomic data between 1955 and 2003. We have data for inflation, the federal funds rate, and the GDP gap. These data over this period were used as an application of local projection impulse responses in the Order's 2005 paper. Following the Order's example, we first estimate a four lag VAR model with our variables by selecting them and then right-clicking Open as VAR. We'll change the legs to 4 and hit OK to estimate the VAR. Performing impulse response analysis on the VAR is easy. We simply press the impulse button and then select which options we'd like. For now, we'll leave everything at the default values other than changing the horizon length to 12, i.e. 3 years. Note that the default setting for the creation of the impulse is to use the Cholesky factorization with a degree of freedom correction. Clicking OK produces the eViews impulse response output. We can view the traditional responses in either graphical or tabular form by selecting the options on the left of the output. We can add or remove variables from both the impulses or responses if we wish to drill down on particular interactions between specific variables. We can freeze a particular view of these responses to keep for later. To calculate local projection impulse responses, we again click on the impulse button, but this time change the setting from ordinary to local projection. eViews offers both sequential and joint estimation of the local projections. We'll go with sequential. As soon as the local projection method is selected, an additional page on the dialog appears, offering options for the local projections. We'll stick with the default options and click OK to produce the responses. We can see that, compared with the standard responses, the local projection responses are markedly different, particularly towards the end of the horizon. The lighter bands around the responses represent the confidence bands. By default, these are computed analytically. If we prefer to use bootstrapped intervals, we can do so by again bringing up the dialog, but using the drop-down to select the type of bootstrap we'd like to use. We'll go with Hall's bootstrap. 